All right, now the brand new AI select feature on One UI 7 is just incredible. This feature is designed to enhance how users interact with on-screen content. Basically, it's all about using AI to make on-screen interactions more intuitive and productive. So in this video, we are going to deep dive into AI select and all the tools that it offers. And I'm going to explain you how you can use these tools in day-to-day -day life. But before we dive in, if you're new on the channel, be sure to subscribe and become a part of Apex community to know your phone better and give this video a like if you find this video informative. And of course, the wallpaper application Volvers, you can go ahead and download it from the link in the description. I just added a few more cool dark wallpapers, AMOLED wallpapers. You can go ahead and check them out on the wallpaper app Volvers. And do not forget to rate it on Play Store. That encourages me to come up with some amazing wallpapers for you guys. I will keep adding more and more every day. So do go ahead and and rate it on Play Store. Now let's go ahead. Now the first thing I have done with this AI select feature is I have changed the method to activate this feature. Usually what we all do is we all open the edge panel and tap on AI select to open this feature and then we draw on the screen to see all the tools, the contextual menus. So what I've done is instead of uh, those two steps, I have set a gesture to activate this feature using one hand operation plus application. Now you see, whenever I want to activate AI select, I can just swipe down from the edge of the screen to activate this and I can circle or scribble on the screen to select the content and use the tools. Now to set this up, all you need to do is go to the one hand operation plus application, select any handle that you want. I have selected the right handle and I have selected diagonal down, select any gesture that you want. As you can see for diagonal down, I have selected AI select. Now this is available on the latest one hand operation plus module and this option will be available only on the devices running on One UI 7. So if you're on One UI 6.1, you may not see AI select option on one hand operation plus application. So once it is selected, you're good to go. You can select AI select by just swiping down from the right edge of the screen or whichever uh, gesture that you have set and activate it. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now let me show you some cool things that you can do with AI select. Let's say you're on the internet browsing something. Let me just type wallpapers and let me tap on images. Now I have got some cool wallpapers or cool images here on Google search. Now let me open one of them here and let's say I like this. So I don't really have to press and hold on it, download it to the gallery and then set it as a wallpaper. All I can do is just activate circle to search and just tap on, okay, we don't even have to tap on this image. It automatically selects this particular image and when I tap on this three dot button, I have an option to set this image as wallpaper. I straight away hit the set as wallpaper and it is gonna ask me to set this as lock screen or home screen wallpaper. Let me set it as home screen wallpaper. I'll tap on next and we again get the, uh, you know, the customization option. If you wanna change the frames, if you wanna change the effects, you can do all that here. Let me tap on suggest, let's see how it looks. Okay, this is the suggestion I'm getting here. I got some frames, etc. If you don't want to apply it, just go back and tap on done. We have got the wallpaper applied right from a Google search result using AI select, which is pretty cool. And here I also have the option to select the uh, color palettes, or if you don't want to do anything like this, you can just skip it here and we are good to go. You see, we have got this beautiful wallpaper applied on the home screen looking perfect. That's the first cool thing you can do using AI select. Now let me show you the second cool thing you can do. Let's say you're browsing something, you find a location detail here and you want to open that location or that specific place on Google Maps. You don't really have to copy this text or copy this location name and then search on Google Maps. All you can do is just activate AI select and select this particular location. As you can see, it is recognizing this is a location and it is giving me the contextual menu here with map option. I can tap on maps and I can select this Google Maps here, tap on just once and we are here. The location has been searched right here on the Google Maps. This is pretty cool, isn't it? We'll be able to search the place names on the maps using AI select. That is just perfect. Now let me activate AI select again. I will select the text over here. Now it has selected the text and when the text is selected, you can see I'm getting writing assist. I can tap on writing assist to go to this option where I can check spelling and grammar, writing styles, summarize, bullet points, table, composer, all these features I can use and then copy that text and use it on any other applications that you want. That is one thing you can do. And if you do not want to see this writing assist here, all you need to do is just deselect the text here. Now you can see we have got generative edit option. If the text is selected, 
we are getting writing assist with pin, copy and share option. If I unselect or deselect this text, it is going to give me more options here. We have got generative edit, we have got a crop option, pin, copy, share and we also have download option. Basically download option is to download this specific screenshot. So we'll be able to crop a specific portion of the screenshot and download it. And I really hope Samsung adds the oval selection option. Earlier we had oval selection on smart select feature. Now we don't have oval selection, we just have square or rectangle selection and I really request Samsung to add the oval shaped selection on smart select or this AI select feature in the upcoming updates. Now that is what we can do when we select the text. And if the text is in a different name or a different uh, language, then it will show us the translate feature as well and we can tap on translate. It's actually wrongly recognizing as uh, Indonesian and it is asking me to download Indonesian pack when it is just saying Mahatma Gandhi here. So sometimes these errors occur, so we have to be wary of that. So we can translate the text as well using AI Select, which is also a pretty good feature that we have. Now let's say what else we can do. I will activate AI Select on the home screen and I will just select this portion of the screen. And now I've got two options, Drawing Assist and Generative Edit. I can tap on Generative Edit and use this feature uh, sketch to image and generative edit or we can directly access drawing assist it will take us to the drawing assist tools using the ai we will be able to further edit this image that's another thing that we can do using this now let's see how we can create gifs using the ai select now let's say you're watching a video on youtube and uh, you want to quickly uh, create a gif from this specific video clip all you need to do is just activate ai select and draw on this video frame here and then tap on the three dot button you get this option create gif just tap on that and now you can see the video is playing in the background you can start recording right here you can change the high uh, the quality high quality or standard quality you can set high quality is going to consume some storage space but it will give you a good quality gif so let me select high quality and i will just tap on record now it has started recording and it will also show you the uh, memory that it is consuming for this specific gif once done just tap on stop and here we go we got this gif we can download it we can crop it further we can copy it and paste it anywhere we want we can also pin it and uh, do whatever you want to do on the home screen open uh, some other applications and you can do any other work on the phone while this gif is uh, pinned right here on the top and likewise we can also pin the images right here on the top let me just close this let me activate uh, let me activate ai select again and i will select a portion of this uh, home screen and now i will just pin it over here now this has been pinned, I can tap on this to download it or uh, copy the text or shrink it. If I tap on this shrink, you can see this is available right here. The tool is still there. I can tap on this tool to expand this and I can use other applications on the phone for multitasking. If I want to copy something from this specific screenshot, I can copy it and uh, I will be able to uh, paste it on any other application. Let's say I have got notes here. I want to copy and paste everything that is there on this pinned uh, image. Then all I can do is just copy the text and paste it right here, as simple as that. So that's another thing that we can do using AI Select feature. These are some very useful things that we can do using these tools on AI Select on the Galaxy Phones One UI 7. And I thought I will just share it with you guys. Let me know which one is your favorite. Have you been using this feature? Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. And do not forget to download this wallpaper application Wallverse and rate it on Play Store. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.